Hello everyone and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today I will explain how to investigate packet loss in AWS using flow logs. Before we get started with the AWS console, let's review a quick packet walkthrough in a very simple VPC. Packet get initiated from an end user on the internet and the first component we hit is the internet gateway. This guy is responsible not only to wrap my packet inside of the VPC, but also to perform the public to private IP translation. Once I'm in, my packet is routed to the appropriate subnet, where it usually has to be accepted by a network ACL. Now, the default network ACL is very permissive, so usually this is not a problem. Next, before I get to the EC2 instance, I normally have to also be accepted by a security group attached to it. And by default, those security groups deny ingress traffic, so technically we have more chance to be dropped by that guy. However, if accepted, the packet can finally reach the instance. Now that we have a good picture of how things work, let's jump on the AWS console and use VPC flow log to troubleshoot an issue where I cannot reach one of my instances. We are now in the AWS console and we have this web server instance right here. The instance was set up earlier today and everything looks fine. However, if I try to ping its public IP address, let's give it a try, I don't get any answer. Because I don't know at this stage where exactly my packet gets lost, I will enable flow logs on my VPC to at least get a clue if my traffic reach AWS and if it does, then what happens next? For this, we will go in the VPC section and click on the VPC where my network and resources are located. Click on flow logs and then create a new flow log. From here, things are very straightforward. First of all, you have to specify what exactly you want to log. Well, because I'm not even sure traffic gets into my VPC at this stage, I will log both accepted and rejected traffic. Then I will use an aggregation time interval of one minute to make sure I get those logs very quickly. Then select the default log group where traffic log will be stored in CloudWatch. Okay, here is the tricky part now. You need to create an IAM role so that logs can be written in a CloudWatch log group. So, writing and explaining the required permission is a bit out of scope here. So, I suggest you click on this Setup and Permission button. It will open a new tab and create this role automatically for you. Once this is done, the new role should be visible in the I am role combo box. And you can now click on Create Flow Logs. Back to the Flow Logs menu. I can now click on log default VPC and this should redirect you to CloudWatch. The network interface ID you see in the first menu should be the one of the instance where you are having the problem. So you can click on that one and start to see some logs. Now, based on your situation, you might see a lot of garbage traffic from the internet like I do, but with a bit of filtering based on your source IP, you should be able to locate your traffic. Like my ping request, just here. And if I look closely, I can see my packet is rejected. So that's a very good news. We know the traffic enter the VPC and because it is rejected, I should check my network ACL and security group and see what's missing. Okay, that's it for this short introduction to packet tracing inside an AWS VPC, everyone. Don't forget to let me know if you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more content like this one on my channel. Thank you.